What's going on guys? This is Eric Johnson and uh, this I'm going to be by myself uh, this episode. Um, I just want I just want to uh, put it out there that if you're going to comment on my videos, please actually watch the content um, because I have this fucking guy I just realized. He's trying to get his name out there. I read the comments on some of his videos, and well, they basically obliterate him for commenting the same shit. Uh, that's like I said, is one way to get your name out there. Uh, yeah, but I, I like comments that actually tell me, uh, "Hey, I cannot wait to see this." Um, oh, like I want to see Chris Benoit own it. Yeah, I mean, like a comment that that actually pertains to like the con. Like, a comment that pertains to the content. Okay? Like that, that shit pisses me off. I realize it was just spam. Nonetheless. Um, we got Gene Campbell versus Flo of Rivers. The uh, Native American I got for a one night only. I cannot believe I had Flo of Rivers win. That was a terrible idea. Now that we know that Gene Campbell can actually wrestle. Let's just pretend that's not his picture. It's actually Gan Grell, if you, haven't, if you can't tell. Uh, now in the next match, we have Jerry Lynn versus Al Bronco. They trade some wins. Uh, Jerry Lynn wins by pinfall. We have Tracy Smothers versus Al Snow. Al Snow's becoming a beast for us, it looks like. Tracy Smothers now gets the victory. So, good job, Tracy Smothers. Chris Benoit cutting a promo to the live audience on television and the Ring got a 70 C plus, and the match itself gets a 74. So, should be a decent show, and it is. We increased in five regions. So, let's just see now if we're going to make money. Little Beaver, that's what she said. All right. And we got several people gone. Oh, okay, never mind. Thank God. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, what the fuck? But they're back from the loan. McFoley on the rise. That is a good thing for us. Not really, as he... I don't even think he was available for the last show. Um, yeah. Yeah. This ain't looking good. We have a lot of people unavailable on Tuesdays now. Um, Tasmaniac and Chris Benoit is missing on that day. Uh, looks like we should have everybody back by then. I don't know. I don't know if we can. Can we switch the recording day to Sunday? Uh, that'd be great. Um, right now it looks like Sunday is the only day that's open. Except for this. We miss Gene Campbell. Okay, so I'm going to go out and get more workers because I'm like freaking out. I have like nobody. Do Cool Scorpio actually come back? Um, yeah. You know what? I, I kind of need people. Never mind. I kind of don't need him. <laughs> uh, he's going to make me bleed money. I mean, let's just try to get some new rookies and book them. Uh so I'm going with the approach of uh, oh, Sandman. There you go. Oh, we could play a cool gimmick. Okay. So before I get um, before I get uh, off track here again. Oh yeah, yeah, it does play a cool gimmick. Anyway. So it looks like I'm going to uh, go with the approach of just booking the one hour show like it is a regular show. I'm not going to have two matches. I know I went with that. It's not working, okay? No, I'm just not putting up with that, so. Uh, we will get Sandman for as cheap as possible. I feel like he can help us. Um, play a nice baby face. 600 mark, okay. So I got him for 100 less than what he's worth. Because he is now in the game. Ted Turner is supposed to be the owner of WCW. I don't get that. Oh, here we go. He works in USA now. Now we can get Rey Mysterio, which is awesome. Another baby face. But we do need heels. 
Um, Sandman probably could play a heel. But I know he's way better at being a likable babyface. Um, he needs to stop using hard drugs. Um... I know we got Booker, that's a good thing. Um, Mike Lockwood, you know, he does kind of... Yeah, Crash Holly. Yeah, that's who I thought that was. Okay. Just wasn't sure. He's worth about 290 You know, that's another, that's another baby face because he's small, but you know what? Um, lightweight, and I, I'd consider him a small guy. But you know what? That will, will actually take him. Um, 290. Okay. Uh, travel not covered. Standard three years. Okay. Uh, sorry, rookie. Can work in USA. Don Callis. I know he's a damn good manager, too. We don't need that right now. Well, being able to garner sympathy from fans, like a white knee baby face, earn your major heat, wanting the damn near kill him. Why is Brian Lee familiar? I don't know. James Mitchell. Uh, sorry if I'm being boring. I'm just trying to look through all these names. See if I have a use for uh, no picture. If you don't have a picture as a wrestler, I can't get you. Uh... Madman Pondo. <laughs> no picture, though. Who went? Oh, Tatanka. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Tatanka. There we go. Okay, I just wanted that last name there. Okay. Now... We're going to get four extra people to work with. I'm thinking face, face, heel. Fuck it, make it, make Tatanka a heel. You know, I'm pretty sure he's a better. Oh, okay, he can play heel. Perfect. Two, two heels, two faces are coming. Uh, really in the hole. Hopefully we can bounce out of that shit. Because, uh, my God. I mean, at least the ticket sales are going up, right? Not as much as I'd like it to, but, you know. We're just going for the uh, gaining popularity. Now we're up to 14. That should really help. Let's see what how much time we're on right now. Um, we have about near 10 minutes. Hopefully we can sign them. Maybe do one more show. And that's it. There we go. We got some signings. Tara is on maternity leave. Congratulations. Sandman signs. Baby face. Rey Mysterio is a baby face. Tatanka should be a face, but we're going to take him to heal. Because that's what we need right now. Okay, Sandman should be a lower mid. That makes sense. I really want to build up Sandman into that badass character. Because that's what it says he should be right now, but we're going to wait on that. Could go with the basic Cole character. Uh, this is the late 80s, right?
the basic cool character. Sorry about that. Mind blanked a minute. Uh, Ray Mysterio is up next. Should be an opener. Makes sense. He's 14 years old. Thrill Seeker. Yes. Tatanka. A little lower mid. Uh, let me see. Native American. Got to give him something different then. Uh, what do you do? Strong, cocky, weasel. I wonder what weasel gimmicks there are. If not, we'll go to cocky. Heel. Nazi. Interesting. <laughs> no. No. Should have got the old school heel route. I think of. Um. That's it right now. Let us continue on to the next show. Antonio Inoki just got hurt. A sleepy head. Um. Okay, that was weird. Interesting. All right. So, a sleepy head. That is an oddly bizarre name. <laughs> and it looks like he's going to go to Portland now. It's interesting for Undertaker. And there is Crash Holly. He will be a heel for us. Bring all these brand new people. Lower mid. <laughs> the fake super white. <laughs> uh, I would use him as a strong comedy, but we don't need comedy. We can pretty much do everything except legit. That's a good thing. Um, let's do a cocky heel gimmick. He seems like a good cocky guy. Let's see. He kind of does look like a French Canadian. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Yeah, he's gonna be a French Canadian. We're gonna give him a give him a fake uh, fake French name. Um, let me see. He's gonna, he's gonna, his name's going to be I'm trying to think of a. His name's gonna be Jean. Jean Laperriere. So we're gonna see how Jean Laperriere uh, does here for the for the foreseeable future. Uh, Jean Laperriere. That's funny. Uh, you know. 
I would go with their regular WWE gimmicks, but I'm trying to be a little creative. Eventually, yes, they will become those characters, but, you know, humble beginnings. He will start out as the French-Canadian Jean Le Perrier. He comes down with the Quebec flag. I just think it'd be funny. My dog thinks it'd be funny too. Okay, what do we got? Another point zero three. You get the money for it. Five thousand six hundred viewers. Okay, at least we're getting something for it, right? Uh, okay. Eventually, we will make profit. All right, we just got to go with the investment, okay? Axel, late again, he gets fined. It keeps up. Yes, I know, we have poor finances. <sighs> 274 fans now. Economy still falling at a horrible rate. TX Landmark Christian Academy. I was even thinking about maybe going to a uh, a venue of less people. All right, until uh, we can get this sorted out. There's our world champ. We can finally make it. I say it's going to be a tag match main event between Brian A. Adius and Bob Hawley versus well, Chris Benoit and something else. Uh, we'll do... Hmm. No, we don't want to kill his push yet. Tell you what. Him... Uh, you know what? Him and Steven Regal. Yeah, sure. That's our main event of the night. And I say... Steven Regal actually gets the pin. Who's he fighting? Bob Holly. Uh, Steven Regal actually gets the win on Brian Adius. So he can get strong. Okay. There we go. That think I should keep Bob Hawley strong too. Okay. That's the main event of the evening. Now, for mid cards. No main... Okay. Uh, this match be Chris Benoit Ah, Chris Benoit ain't going to be on the card tonight. <sighs> Let's see. What can we do? Want to be the boat master. Give a win to Al Snow. Ray Mysterio will debut. Actually, you know what? Al Snow's going to dominate. And we will protect Al Snow and Rey Mysterio. And it'll be a five-minute match. Give Al Snow something to do. Uh, Axe Rotten. Uh, 
Uh, he will fight Tatanka. Twenty-one minute match, in which Axel is going to win because he's been here longer. Okay, there's our three matches. I think there should only be one promo, which will include Cactus Jack. It'll be all of our best guys. Cactus Jack, Steven Regal. Um, I'm trying to remember Brian Addius and Bob Holly. Uh, we'll just put that in the beginning of the show. And then I'll set up the main event. I'll also even give a promo to Al Snow for one minute before his match. There you go. A nice little... I'll just title it. Pre-match interview with Al Snow. Okay. And let's see how it does. How much are we pay paying? Oh, only 5,400 on workers. Uh, it doesn't even include other stuff. There you go. 61 to start out. Cactus Jack was good. Axel Rotten wins. Average heel gimmick. Rematch interview with Al Snow. Okay, that could, probably could have been better. But, hey, if uh, Ray Mysterio can get that 32 for his first match ever, we'll take it. And then the main event of the evening had Cactus Jack getting a 80. Cactus Jack and Bob Holly improved. So good job there. And then yep, 53 C minus. <coughs> good stuff. Oh man, it must be that corona. I coughed. Whoa. Oh, he's actually uh, getting offers from WWF. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. Let me see here. Nice. Nice. At least 71's the... Uh, Prestige a mid card title caps out at. So. There's been three champions of this title so far. Uh, well, switched three times. He's the first time, two time holder. Same with Cactus Jack on that one. Um. I to give uh, Chris Benoit some time off. Now. Auto push people now. Just to see. What happens. Steven Regal is now number two. That's interesting. Very over. He just, I mean, the rocket strap on this guy. I don't even know where he's getting that popular. He's, I think he's wrestling in Japan too, huh? That, that also helps. That is amazing. Okay. 
Interesting. Can't wait to see the TV writing for that. Okay, I'm just going to send to the next show, and that is going to be it. All right, here we go. We're going to this next Tuesday, and that'll be the end of this Arnold Scotland. Okay, let's see. He got injured. Knee ligament damage. And he takes another MMA fight. <laughs> kind of glad we uh, stripped him of it. Kind of surprised it doesn't have a vacant next to it. Huh. Oh, we sold out. Holy shit. That is amazing. Hmm. The sponsorship money's really going up. Just wish that would, uh, wish it would make over 10 grand and something. So, I have an idea to make money. go um, I'm going to put it back to DVD home video yeah well oh well And that is it. I don't think I have anything else to do. And we will see you guys next time on this series. Thank you for watching.